Hello my friends, today we are going to learn the two different ways to consume a Kinesi stream using a lambda function. The first is shared throughput and the second is dedicated throughput also called enhanced fanout. Kinesis can be used with Amazon EC2 based and container based workloads. However, its integration with AWS Lambda can make it a useful data source for serverless applications. Using Lambda as a stream consumer can also help minimize the amount of operational overhead for managing streaming applications. When choosing Lambda as a Kinesis stream consumer, it's very important to understand the characteristics of each type, its use cases, pricing, and the different trade-offs. We are going to elaborate on each type of consumer, understand how they work under the hood, and finally I'll give you the tools to decide which one to choose. Ok, let's start. Before jumping into details, it's important to understand the boundaries. When reading from a Kinesis data stream, it's important to know that Kinesis stream is composed of shards, and that each shard in your stream comes with a limited throughput. You can write 1 megabyte or 1000 records of data per second per shard, while on the way out, each shard provides up to 2 megabyte of data per second by default. So in theory, you can consume the stream twice as fast as you can write to it. The first type of consumer is the shared consumer, also called standard iterator. In this type of consumer, the 2 megabytes are shared between all the consumers you attach to the stream. So, if you would want to have more than the recommended 2 to 3 consumers, you may face a situation when the data is being written to the stream faster than it can be read. This in turn may lead to the following situations. The first is an increase in the propagation delay. Propagation delay is defined as the end-to-end -end latency from the moment a record is written to the stream until it is read by a consumer application. The second is data expiration. Data expiration means that the data is deleted from the stream before any of the consumers get a chance to read it. With a shared consumer, Lambda pulls each shard in your Kinesis stream for records at a base rate of once per second using the HTTP protocol. When more records are available, Lambda keeps processing batches until the function catches up with the stream. Shared throughput consumer uses the get records API call. There can be at most 5 get records called made per second in each shard. This limit also means that you can have at most 5 different consumers using the shared throughput before they start to get throttled. The 5 get records request limit also means that the records can be read from the stream once every 200 milliseconds and the latency increases with each additional consumer that shares the throughput. Moving on to the second type of a stream consumer, which is a dedicated throughput consumer, also known as enhanced fanout. To minimize latency and maximize read throughput, you can create a data stream consumer with enhanced fanout. An enhanced fanout consumer gets an isolated connection to the stream that provides a 2 megabyte per second output throughput. It doesn't impact other applications reading from the stream. You can have up to 20 stream consumers attached to a single stream. Note that you can only have a single Lambda function using a given enhanced consumer. You will need to create a separate stream consumer for each of your Lambda function. Enhanced fanout has lower read propagation delay. Propagation delay is defined as the end-to-end -end latency from the moment a record is written to the stream until it is read by a consumer application. This is because Enhanced Fanout uses HTTP2, which uses persistent connections and push records to the consumers over a long-lived connection. With Enhanced Fanout, records can be delivered from producers to consumers in 70 milliseconds or better. So instead of using the Get Records API, we use the Subscribe to Shard API. 
Given these points, you are probably now thinking which stream consumer to choose, right? Well, let's talk about it and see a comparison between the two. Enhanced fanout has lower read propagation delay. This is because Enhanced fanout uses HTTP2 which uses persistent connections and push records to the consumers using the subscribe to shard API call instead of shared throughput that uses HTTP using the get records API and pulls from the stream. When using enhanced fanout, you will have records available to be processed about 70 milliseconds after you wrote them to the stream. In comparison, this takes about 200 milliseconds for the shared throughput consumers and the latency increases with each additional consumer that shares the throughput. You can also use both shared throughput and enhanced fanout with the same Kinesis stream. This allows you to have up to 20 consumers with dedicated throughput as well as 2 to 3 consumers that will share the 2 megabyte throughput. It's important to mention that reading data from a stream using enhanced fanout has cost dimensions associated with it while shared throughput will cost you nothing. There is additional hourly charge per enhanced fanout consumer and charge per gigabyte of enhanced fanout data retrieval costs. It's advisable to use standard consumers when there are less than three consuming applications and your use cases aren't sensitive to latency. Enhanced fanout is better for use cases that require low latency for message delivery to consumer or when the number of consumers is bigger than three. That's it for the first part of my Kinesis with Lambda tutorial, consuming a Kinesis data stream. In the next video, I'll go over the different configurations for consuming a stream using event source mappings. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I hope you enjoyed and it gave you value. If you want to learn more on AWS and all types of coding related stuff, please consider subscribing. Thanks, see you in the next video.